Askur and Embla, Adam and Lilith. Man endowed with divine attributes. Askur and Embla, the gods Oder Heiner Loder, Askur Ectrasils, the tree of life and its three roots. Valkyria is born along with man. We as Driftwood washed ashore need the divine attributes to become humans. Good. We got that, so now we have divine attributes and can be called humans. Fine. End of story or is it? What are we doing here? Is it not enough to be born as a human? Is there something more to it? Higher purposes? In old school books we were taught that all living beings are born, have offspring to withhold their species and die. No one even considered the question what on earth for, not even the teachers. Is there any higher purpose? Would not be bothered to think about something as irrelevant when we seem to be quite well off as we are? Let us look at the myth and see if the answer to that potential question is to be found here. Skade njörður baldur. We might be, in a way, bound to njörður our sea god, our good guardian, as we originated in the sea. Skade, the thirst maiden, too, is bound to njörður. It just so happens, unintended. She has higher goals. She wants Baldur, sun god, which means that she longs for enlightenment. The story of Skadi Thiasadottir and her dilemma, where her life is torn between Njörður and Baldur, is a myth which can be seen as telling us of our human life on Earth. It is not enough to just be, be born, have kids, work for some money and die. We should know that only by living in a body can we go on on our evolutionary path. And what would that be? Guess thrice. Hey, our spiritual evolution towards enlightenment. Education should include this most vital issue, but it does not. We still have some thousand years left of dark ages. Bad things happen during the dark ages of the cycle. The original text in books in southern faraway lands was about Adam and Lilith as men, man and woman, receiving the holy breath from some god, man, both male and woman, created equal, and got the divine breath. That is how the original story goes. But this original story was later changed by the patriarchy, which needed not any independent and free woman as Lilith. So she, Lilith, the original woman, is said to be very, very bad and even devilish, very disobedient to Adam, and an evil creature of the night, a killer, seducer of men, and she bites. The patriarchy then wrote the story of Eve, who never received any holy breath. She is an obedient story character written by the patriarchy for their purpose of women disdain and subjugation. Something like the girl in Nazareth, Miriam. Their book says the Christian household, which is the basic component of Christian society, is a menage a trois, or a household of three, God, a husband, subject to God, and a wife subject to her husband. This is the natural order of the creation of Yahweh, which is found in Genesis chapter 2. That God is, in turn, ruled by the rulers. They decide his will. In Iceland, the husband will be allowed to beat workers, women and children to death for men obedience, for what he deems to be obedience to his rules. Hogni, will they come to Iceland? Edda, hey, they will come. After a thousand years, women in Iceland will sing about the thousand years of suppression and disdain of women. They struggle with ferocity to reject their theocratic patriarchy imported from Rome, year 1999, Roman calendar. After a thousand years, we shall rediscover our fortness either in its full glory, and all men shall understand its spiritual profundity. The cycle of yoga, perpetual cycles, as Lao Tse puts it, an enlightened man speaks the truth. Men learn his words and start worshipping him. They recite, and he told them to be good. But they might disagree on what he said, so they ask someone to sort it out. Someone claims to know it all, they should listen to him. And he tells them that the one they worship wants land and more lands. They become obedient killers blinded by lies. Until a new and enlightened man is born and puts it all right again. We are consciousness and need not the institutions nor the systems of religions. Mm.